Okay, I am back now to complete the uh, um, Japanese eggplant and tofu dish. And as I mentioned, I wasn't really sure exactly what I was going to do with the tofu and eggplant, and I was planning to bake it in the oven, and there's been a change of plans. So, I am going to make a stir fry dish with lotus root, which I began to talk about when the camera went off. So lotus root is one of the uh, Chinese uh, vegetables that is considered beneficial to the lung qi, and it clears heat from the lung, and it has a detoxifying effect, and it's very nourishing to the lung qi, and it's a very interesting, um, it's a very interesting uh, shaped uh, uh, er, uh, vegetable, sorry, I was talking about herbs a minute ago, and um, you'll notice that just like the lungs, it has holes like that, um, but be that as it may, this is the root of the lotus flower. So if you think about the lotus flower, it grows above water, in muddy water, and uh, all of that plant is used, by the way, and, and then, then the, the part of the plant the root or rhizome more exactly that gets all the nutrients for the beautiful plant is this lotus root which is something like how the lungs function in the human body in terms of production of energy so um, it's really a beautiful uh, vegetable when you slice it you get these sort of wheel shapes and uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna slice them in half actually and the lotus root um, is used a lot in soup and stew and it's really wonder wonderful in miso soup as well and so i'm going to set that to the side then this is carrot that i've i'm sorry the sun is coming in and it's awful but i can't help it um and so this is carrot here and then this is the next thing here is burdock root now burdock root is, a, is another very medicinal um uh vegetable um, and it can come in, in big pieces like, it actually is about three feet long, um, burdock root, and um, uh, it, um, it, it's when you get it in the Japanese market or the Chinese market, it can be as much as three feet long and big and thick like this. Usually it comes from Taiwan. When you get it at the health food store, it'll be much smaller like this and often much darker in color. And uh, I'm going to put that put that to the side. So I slice it kimpira or matchstick matchstick style. And uh, burdock root is this is the burdock root one sliced. Burdock root is considered a very strong vegetable in Japanese culture. In Chinese medicine, the seeds of the burdock plant are used for they're strongly uh, they're used for heat toxins so they're used in in formulas for strep throat and sore throat stuff like that so again sticking with the theme of detoxification um, we have uh, lotus root that nourishes the yin detoxifies the lung chi another antibacterial vegetable burdock root is is um, how does it taste? I'm chewing on it. It's slightly sweet, but slightly bitter. And um, it's delicious. Um, it's not something you normally eat raw, but you certainly could eat very small amounts raw, you know, like a tablespoon in a, in a very grated salad. The Indians could come up with a, a way to do that. Um, and then the last vegetable here is maitake mushroom. Maitake mushroom, um, I've written about it on my website. You can just Google it as well. It's what you'd call a superfood. It's really uh, a super immune boosting uh, medicine. Uh, it's used both, eaten both as a vegetable like this in a stir fry or in a soup, but it's also uh, dried and, um, you know, capsulized and in a lot of the medicinal mushroom formulas for cancer. It's an anti-cancer herb uh it's so it's it's one of those foods like many mushrooms that's both a food and an herb there are some mushrooms that you just don't eat as food 
I'm unaware of uh, of anyone who has a way of cooking reishi mushroom, for example. But um, you know, a lot of them are are both eaten and used in herb formulas, and then some just herb formulas. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I have two woks heating up, and did I leave anything out? No. And let me just make sure that I cook the right thing and the right thing. Okay, so let's start with the eggplant. Oh yes, I knew I was forgetting something. Of course I have scallion and onion and mung bean sprout. So sticking with this theme of cooling foods, mung beans are cooling and easy to digest. Tofu is cooling. By the way, we've had a heat wave here for about two weeks. Um, cooling the tofu which has been marinating now, which I talked about. There's your tofu marinating. Um, cooling, eggplant cooling, lotus root cooling, uh, carrot uh, actually considered slightly warming but not very much, burdock root cooling, and the mushroom neutral. So there's going to be some warming onion, ginger, and scallion to balance all of that cooling. And again, remember with food, with cooking, you're always making food. You're making uh, food that should be delicious. So you don't just cook medicinal food without uh, thinking about what it's going to taste like. So um, my camera is going to turn off in two, min two and a half minutes. So I'm going to get some things started here. I am going to add some sesame oil that tolerates high heat um, to this wok. And I am going to put in the tofu, which I should have liked. It's hard to do, hold the camera and do everything at the same time. I really, I really want to strain that tofu into a, into something because I want to save some of that marinade. So let's actually strain, whoa. Let's actually strain the tofu. That's better. And I, by the way, okay, let's do one thing at a time. I want to get the tofu started. Okay. Tofu is started. This is the eggplant. My sink is full of dishes now. This is the eggplant that I've been soaking in the salt water. And you can see that the water that it's been soaking in is nice and dark. And that was the idea because the bitter flavor in eggplant that you're removing with the soaking in salt water is, I'm going to guess, removing some of the... Um, uh, I, uh, I forget the name of the of the biochemical that is in nightshades that makes them bad for you if you have rheumatoid arthritis. I'm just spacing out on that right in this moment. But medicines are most medicines are bitter, and poisons are really bitter. There's no there is no poison other than sugar that's not bitter, and um, so that's probably why people figured out. Um, you reduce the bitterness and you make it less toxic. So I'm going to cook the egg, the tofu now in this large wok. And I'm going to come back when the film runs out. It, I called it film, but you know what I mean. I, so instead of baking it, I am frying it, but I'm not deep frying it. I'm just frying it in my wok with about, I don't know, that was like about a tea, two teaspoons of oil. And this is going to go a long way. 